Today's video is on binomial distribution and this is related to the probability distribution. See here, the question is out of 800 families with 5 children each, how many would you expect to have 3 boys, 5 girls, either 2 or 3 boys or at least 1 boy. See here, among 500 families, each family consists of 5 children. So what is the expectation that among 5 children, there are 3 boys, Five girls either two or three boys or at least one boy among five children see here first of all in the solution p is the probability of each boy p is equal to half as you know the total probability is equal to one unity the probability of uh, having a boy child or a girl is one therefore q is equal to one minus half and q value is equal to half See from the question, how many children are there? 5 children. Therefore, n is equal to 5. See here, n value is equal to 5. So, n is equal to. The total children is 5. And the probability of getting a boy is half. And the probability of getting a girl is half. Not getting a boy means half. And therefore, what is the probability that out of 5 children, the expected uh, child is Three boys. See here, first of all, we have to find out this one that is three. The probability that having three boys among five children that is probability of x is equal to r is nothing but ncr p power r. This is q power n minus r according to the binomial distribution. So now we have to calculate here r value is equal to three. Probability of x is equal to three is what is our n value? So five children among five children so three we need boy that is what is p value that is half ncr p power r and next q power n minus r that is five minus three so probability of x is equal to three is nothing but five c three half q and this is half square see ncr is equal to just i'll show you the formula ncr is equal to n factorial by this is n minus r factorial into r factorial or else there is a shortcut of writing so what is the difference so the difference here is 2 5 minus 3 is 2 so 2 backward steps and 2 front steps so we'll get the same answer this will be half power 5 so if i cancel uh, in two table this will be 10 into 1 by 2 power 5 so 2 power 5 is nothing but 32. So, if I cancel in 2 table, 2 5s and 2 16s. Therefore, the probability of getting 3 boys among 5 children is 5 by 16. So, this is for each family. So, each family have calculated. So, how many families are there? Total they are. From the question C, out of 800 family families. So, 800 families are there. Thus, for 800 families, we have to calculate. Thus, for 800 families, thus for 800 families. So, what is the expectation of having 3 male child? So, 3 boys is. So, this will be n into p. So, here this is 800 into p. So, this value is 5 by 16. This value is 5 by 16. 16. So, if I cancel this, this will be 200 out of uh, 800 families. So, 250 families will be having 3 boys. So, first one is uh, over. And next one, 5 girls. So, it means that among 5 children, if all are 5 girls, then there is no scope of boys. And therefore, see here, for the second question B, for B is 5 uh, girls. So, for calculating among 5 children, 5 are girls. So, which means that probability of no boys. So, that is uh, P of X is equal to 0. 0 boys. So, R is equal to 0. So, the formula here is NCR P power R and this is Q power N minus R. So, here what is the probability of getting a male child? P is equal to half and next not getting a boy is half. So, N is equal to 5. 
so here r value is equal to 0 so if i substitute then the probability of getting five girls or having no boys is same that is x is equal to 0 is what is n 5 c 0 that is p to the power of r and next uh, q to the power of n minus 0 so phi c naught is 1 so anything to the power of uh, 0 is 1 so this is half power 5 so this value is 1 by 32 so this value is nothing but 1 by 32 per family so for a single family now see here this we have to calculate thus for 800 families so thus for 800 families the probability uh, of getting five girls is nothing but this is n into p what is n value so n is nothing but 800 into the probability of getting all girl chains five girl chains is this one so if i cancel so this will be 25 families so among 800 25 families will be having five girls and the next question is see here the next question is either two or three boys so either two or three means so the third question is either probability of either two or three boys either two or three means the probability of uh, this is probability of r is equal to two plus probability of r is equal to three see r is equal to two here and r is equal to three so we have all the values as uh, n is equal to total five children pre the probability of having a boy is half and probability of having a, a girl is half and uh, see now we'll substitute in the formula so what is the formula here so again I have to write the formula that is p of x is equal to r is nothing but n c r p power r this is q power n minus r now if i substitute r is equal to 2 here then c n c r phi c 2 that is p to the power of r so r is equal to 2 and next q to the power of n minus r and here r is equal to 3 that is n c 3 this is p to the power of r and next q to the power of n minus r n minus r see this will be phi c 2 half square and this is half q plus this is phi c 3 half q into this value is half square and see see there is a logic here ncr is equal to n factorial into n minus r factorial into r factorial or else two backward steps and two front steps so this is half power five and see here three backward steps and see these are front steps that is half power this value is five now if i cancel in two table here so if i cancel this three and four in two times so this will be 10 into this value is 2 power 5 and this is again 10 into 1 by half to the power of 5 so this value is 10 plus 10 so this value is 20 by 30 sorry 32 2 power 5 is nothing but this one so if i cancel in which table 4 table so this will be 5 and this will be 8 so 5 by 8 per family see here this is most important per family and now out of 800 for thirst for see thirst for 800 families the probability of having either two or three boys is nothing but n into this 5 by 8 so 5 by 8 so this value is nothing but 5 by 8 so if i cancel this 100 so this value is 500 so out of 800 500 families will be having either two or three boys and the next question the d question is nothing but at least one boy so what is the chance of getting a minimum one out of five children minimum one means maximum till n is equal to five see here the d bit is at least one boy so what is the probability of uh, getting at least one boy out of five children so here 
n is equal to 5, p is equal to half and q is equal to half. So this is also most most important question that is probability of of having see this one at least one means x greater than or equal to 1. So x greater than or equal to minimum 1 that is probability of x is equal to x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2 plus probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5. So here r value is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And now what is the formula here? Probability of x is equal to r. x is equal to r is nothing but n c r p power r. This is q power n minus r. If I substitute in this formula, see what happens here r is equal to 1. So if I keep substituting n, n is nothing but phi c1 that is p power r and next this is q power n minus r and next one for r is equal to 2 n c r this is p power r and this is q power n minus r and next for r is equal to 3 that is n c 3 p power r and next this is q power this is 5 minus 3 and next for x is equal to 4 that is n c r this is p power r and next q power this is 5 minus 4 and next for r is equal to 5 n c r p power r and next q power this is n minus r now i am going to calculate all these values see so this will be for a change so the value here will be 5 into this is half power 1 this is half power 4 and this value is this is phi c1 this is phi c2 this is half square and this value is half cube this is phi c3 this value is half cube and this value is phi square and again this is phi c4 this is half power 4 and this is half power 1 this is phi c5 this is half power 5 and the next one is phi c0 this value is 1 so now so this value is 5 into half power 5 and next this value is 5 into 4 2 backward steps into 2 front steps this is half power 5 5 c3 means 3 backward steps and next 2 3 front steps into this is half power 5 and next 4 backward steps that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 by this is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 this is half power 5 and next one 5 c 5 is 1 and this is again half power 5 and so now I can cancel this in two times so this into table and this is 4 3 and this is 2 and now see now see I am going to write so if I take 1 by 2 power half common, this will be 5. This is 5 to the 10 and this is again 10. So this value is 5 and this value is 1. And see now the value if I add, this will be 31 by 2 power 5 is nothing but 32 per family. See here, this is for a single family. So for single family, at least one boy is 31 by 32. Thus, for 800 families, so we have to calculate for all the families. So the value is NP, that is 800 into 31 by 32. So this, this is equal to 775. So 775. So, among 800 families, 775 is having at least minimum one boy, at least one boy. So, this is how we have to solve. This is also so simple if you follow these steps. So, if you don't understand this video, go through this video for one more time and definitely you can understand. And step by step you copy and definitely you can solve by your own. Thank you so much for watching and if you really like it, just pass it on to your friends.